Haley out in here alongside Mike O'Donnell. The 2016 Men's Basketball Championship has come to a close. The Yukon Huskies are the champions and they punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Mike, the first half, the Huskies got a pretty substantial lead, but in the second half, Memphis got back into it. Yeah, well, you expect that in a conference championship game. Memphis made halftime adjustments. They really got out in transition and started playing faster, which was their bread and butter all tournament long. But in the end, UConn's bench outscored them 24 to four. And in the second half, Calhoun knocked down a couple three-pointers, really kind of jump-started UConn's offense in the second half. And they were just not to be denied. This UConn team was built to win this championship. Memphis had a tough time getting their offense going. Diedrich Lawson seemed to be the only bright spot there for most of the game. How tough was the UConn defense to play against today? Oh, man, they were outstanding. They were physical, they were aggressive, they were consistent. The guards formed a wall on the perimeter. Lawson was unbelievable for Memphis. He had an incredible game. But in the end, UConn outlasted Memphis. They out them. And again, their bench, it wasn't just on the offensive end. Bryma defensively coming off the bench was incredible all game long. Daniel Hamilton was a very consistent player throughout the course of the week here. Most outstanding player of the tournament. How impactful was Daniel all games this week? Yeah, you know, I, he's a scorer, and we know that, and he's going to get his points. But what I was more impressed with was the way that he was able to bring two defenders to him every time he drove, and he kicked out to his teammates. His ability to collapse the defense because he, he just gains so much attention every time he drives because he's such a dynamic scorer that his teammates are ready to shoot. He always finds them. I love that part of Daniel Hamilton's game. He is a special player and one to watch out for in the NCAA tournament. The Huskies are headed back to stores with the championship trophy, and they just found out where they're going in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, they got a nine seed in the tournament. They're going to face up against a really athletic, very talented Colorado team in the Pac-12. First round should be a really good matchup between an eight and nine seed. I like UConn in that game. All right, well, thanks a lot, Mike, for your analysis this week. You can check out Mike's blog from the tournament at theamerican.org slash MOD. That's a wrap here from Orlando. For Mike O'Donnell, I'm Haley Alton.